<laughs> yeah, but I got my running shoes on just in case, Tanya. You know, as soon as those gates opened, as you're seeing, Fans, there, there was just a rush of fans, and many of them have gym shoes on like I do. They're sprinting to different stages to get to uh, as close as they can to see the artists they're here to see. Now, we've met so many people this morning, and they're very excited to get this fun-filled weekend started. Fans have arrived from all over the country for four days of nonstop music. The gates just opened, and Lollapalooza is now underway. And Maya Tung came from New York. Chicago is great so far. I love it. I feel like it is better than New York. Sorry, New York people. She's one of dozens of Billie Eilish fans who got in line overnight so they could get as close as possible to the stage when the gates open. May Gonzalez from Canada devised a plan. My brother, he's going to come and he's going to help me run to barricade because he's a track athlete and I paid him to do that for me. Nine stages with bands from all over the world expected to draw more than 400,000 fans to Grant Park. Tonight the big headliners include Billie Eilish, Diplo, Lainey Wilson and Carly Rae Jepsen. Then over the weekend fans will get to see other big acts like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Lana Del Rey and Kendrick Lamar. Justin Fura from Detroit is here to see a K-pop band. He says he's prepared with his clear bag full of phone chargers and other essentials. It's, as a K-pop fan, I'm used to standing in line for eight, five to ten hours at a time. We're used to, you know, making sure I have water. I mean, this is just another weekend for me. City officials say the appropriate amount of security will be in place. Meanwhile, this year Lollapalooza has partnered with an overdose prevention agency who will educate music fans about the dangers of fentanyl and supply them with the opioid reversal medicine known as Narcan. An emergency room doctor with Cook County Health warning music fans. I think the first thing we'd recommend to to folks at Lala is to, to, you know, have fun, but also if someone offers you uh, drugs or pills, just just don't do it. I mean, there are a lot of other ways you can really enjoy yourself and, and be aware that it's just really dangerous, the potential supply out there right now. Back here live, the ER doctor also says he sees a lot of heat stroke during Lala weekend. So he says, remember to stay hydrated and look for signs of dizziness. Meanwhile, there are lots of restrictions on what you can take into the festival. We have all of the details posted on our website at abc7chicago.com and our news app. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.